cash flow. Now, when we talk about a statement of uh, cash flow, we say that this is a component of the financial statement uh, which is prepared by an entity or maybe by a company at the end of the year uh, to be able to show the various sources of uh, revenue or basically the various sources of cash in a business and how that cash was was actually what you traced and whenever now uh, a statement of cash flow is to be prepared it is supposed to be prepared in accordance with is what uh, seven so mean that uh, first of all uh, a statement of uh, uh, cash flow uh, is prepared or we say uh, this is a component this is a component uh, a component of a financial statement financial statement a uh, prepared uh, prepared to show uh, to show uh, various uh, sources of cash various sources of cash sources of uh, cash of cash and how and how the cash generated how the cash generated uh, generated uh, was uh, utilized was utilized. So therefore, that is the main objective of uh, preparing now the statement of cash flow. It is basically prepared to show the various sources of cash and how that particular cash, which was generated in a given financial year, was actually what uh, utilized. Now, in our case here, when preparing now the statement of cash flow, um, ordinarily the activities uh, of a business, all those activities are taken by a business, they are classified into three. Uh, main categories, meaning that uh, the activities of the business, activities of the business, uh, are classified into those uh, three uh, categories. One, we do have uh, operating activities. We have uh, operating uh, activities. Number two, we do have uh, investing activities. Uh, investing uh, activities. Activities. Number three. We do have uh, uh, what we refer to as financing, uh, financing uh, activities. Uh, first of all, um, when we talk about uh, the operating activities, uh, we say that these are the revenue generating activities uh, which are undertaken by a business. So mean that any activity undertaken by the business to generate revenue or to generate cash, we refer to it as operating uh, activities. A good example of uh, such an activity is an activity which uh, entail a uh, provision of services or maybe sale of uh, goods by what? By the company. Therefore, we have said that um, the operating uh, activities these are uh, these are revenue generating activities these are revenue generating activities generating uh, activities revenue generating uh, activities of which you have seen that good examples of uh, those particular activities um, entail provision of services uh, sale of goods and so on now on the other hand when we talk about uh, investing activities we say that this and those particular activities undertaken by a business uh, entity um, and which entails acquisition and also disposal of uh, assets. So meaning that the investing activities, uh, these are those particular activities uh, which entails, these are those particular activities uh, which entails, uh, which entails acquisition, uh, acquisition and uh, sale and sale of uh, assets and sale of uh, asset of which uh, what you need to remember is that when we talk about the asset here we do have uh, various <coughs> uh, category of asset uh, first of all we do have uh, what we call as a pp property plant and equipment these are now the tangible a uh, non-current asset we also have other assets which include investment we also have other assets which include intangible uh, assets so therefore any activity uh, which entail acquisition and also disposal of such an asset we refer to that as investing <coughs> uh, activities number three we have a <coughs> uh, financing <coughs> activities we have financing uh, activities when we talk about uh, financing activities, these are those particular activities undertaken by a business entity and which make um, uh, the capital structure of the company to change or basically which result now <coughs> uh, to changes 
in the size and composition of the company's capital would a uh, structure meaning that uh, financing activities uh, are those activities are those activities those activities activities uh, which result uh, which result to changes uh, to changes to changes in the size in the size and composition and composition composition of the of uh, the company's capital structure of the company's uh, capital uh, structure structure and therefore um what you have said is that when preparing now the statement of cash flow generally now we classify the activities of the business into those three categories operating uh, investing and financing and therefore uh, what we are supposed to do is to get the net cash flow from operating activities investing activities and financing activities now in terms of how we get uh, that net cash flow a uh, net uh, cash flow uh, from those three activities we take now uh, what we find is the, the cash inflows the cash inflows less cash outflows less a uh, cash uh, outflows now uh, first of all when talk about cash inflow this is whereby we have money uh, flowing into the business flowing into the business a good example of that is whenever an asset is sold the business will receive money we receive what money meaning that in such a case then we have cash inflow on the other hand when talk about now the cash outflow this whereby we have money flowing out of what of the business for instance uh, whenever now uh, an asset has been acquired and which has to be paid for and uh, then there is outflow of wood of cash so therefore to compute the net cash flow from uh, the three activities we take now the cash inflows and then we less the cash wood uh, outflow so that how um or what you are supposed to do when preparing now the statement of of cash flow. Thank you.